Hello, and welcome to EdCamp Maryland Reflection. This is a little bit different. Um, I always reflect on EdCamps, but I usually do it on my blog in writing. Since this is the year that I'm trying to vlog every week, I thought I'd try this one in a vlog. Uh, I'm going to use the exact same format as my blog, three parts, uh, takeaways, peeps, and feedback. So let's start with part one. Probably the most important part of a conference is takeaways, stuff I bring back from me from the conference. And we'll start out with, um, a, my first session was on virtual reality. And doggone it, Paige, Paige Doberton, teacher from Maryland, um, just, just an all-star. She, I had been wanting to learn about Google Expeditions. And she just, she just takes her phone out. And all the teachers in the room take their phone, phones out. And she takes us on a little Google Expedition. Like we all download the app and she's the leader and we're fun. And it was just, it was really, it was, it was Ed Camp magic, right? Like, like where else does, you know, the learning fall into your lap? Um, so that was really, really neat. Also in that session, I learned about MSET, the Maryland Society of Educational Technologists. Um, I don't teach in Maryland, but if I did, man, they if you write a grant, they want to give you money for technology. So that was good to know. My second session was on all things Google. And, you know, it's funny. Lately at EdCamps, I've sort of enjoyed going to sessions that I already know stuff about because you get to kind of be a, a leader. And... Um, I didn't learn anything, but I, I got to share some things. I shared uh, Noisly, which is a, a, a Google extension to make background white noise. I shared Loom, L-O-O-M, which is a, a really awesome video capture tool for um, a web-based uh, video capture tool. I shared Story Wars, which is, I tell you, I, you know, not since Minecraft, I think, have I gotten so excited about an educational app. Um, it's, com it's competitive uh, fiction writing. Um, I've seen people get excited about fiction writing that ordinarily wouldn't. Um, now there's all kinds of digital citizenship um, concerns with with because there's strangers on it and stuff. But I mean, if you're gonna get kids excited about writing, I mean, you're onto something magical there. I haven't used it yet in class, so I, I don't I don't know a whole lot about it. I just know that that it's got a huge huge potential. Um, and finally, I shared uh, Google Sites. Um, the new one is so 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 easy to learn. Um, and I'm going to make a future vlog about taking your Google Drive and turning it into a, um, a portfolio into Google Sites. I tried Seesaw, liked it all right, but I really think Google Sites is the answer for por portfolio, uh, or is an answer, an easy answer. Um, the final session of the day was on um, social justice. I, I submitted that one. And man, oh man, I, there was a teacher there named Melinda Noya. And uh, if you Google, the lie she made a movie called the lie and it's just i i, I don't want to spoil it i mean it's just it's that good go ahead and 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 check that out because it's really 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 powerful um also in that session um i think one, one of my goals for next year is to um you know take the discussion of campaign finance reform and bring it into the k-12 space the, a lot of people talk about campaign finance reform but not too many people in k-12 um, and, and I think it's super important, and 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 I, I sort of put that out there. It was the first time I'd ever put that out there on a, at an EdCamp. Didn't get super well received, um, but uh, it was a start. Um, and finally, I also learned about um, uh, from a tweet. I learned about uh, uh, TeacherSupplySwap.org. It's a year-round teacher swap store for uh, in, in Baltimore, which I thought that was really really neat. Uh, and that's Ed Cam Magic too. Like I didn't even go to that session, and I still learned about it through the tweet. So anyway, so let's move on to part two, which is peeps. Um, Justin Holbrook uh, opened the show, and I'm just going to go in order that they appear on the website. Um, and Justin's just really all around good guy, uh, a mensch, you know, just a real neat, neat guy. Did a great job. Uh, Shannon Montague um, was not there; she was there in spirit. I think she just got a big promotion, by the way. Congratulations, Shannon. Um, Christy Flayhart, I think, was sick and could not make it. Uh, Valerie. Schaefer, um, I'd seen her tweets before. I think it was, it was the first time I had a meaningful conversation with her and just so, so thoughtful, so smart, so just really enjoyed um, uh, talking with her. Uh, Angie, of course, uh, de Guzman, uh, you know, we collaborate on um, EdCamp LDR leadership and, um, you know, just she dots every I, crosses every T, always, you know, always a pleasure to see her. Marcy, who I... Um, She's like this tall and could kick my ass, really. I mean, just like, we all know that that person, just bundle of energy, always just doing stuff, getting stuff done, and just really super fun person. Really enjoyed meeting her. Um, 
and uh, Susan Verity was there as well. And she, you know, much like Angie, just like always getting stuff done. Like, oh, look, Susan's getting something done. And she's getting something done over there and over there, like always doing stuff. It was just, what a great team. And, and they just did a fantastic job. Now I'm gonna go through um, just the tweets from the you know top to bottom in order uh, uh, that I recognize them. Um, uh, a woman named Ghislaine uh, was tweeting up a storm. I think she learned Twitter that day actually, which was fantastic. Um, Sarah Gibb I met for the first time. I'm a, I have a soft spot for outdoor educators and she was super, super neat. Heather Jennings was there. Uh, I have a soft spot for, I, I used to teach in an ED, at an ED school she does right now and just, just a, you know, gotta be, gotta be made of steel to do that job and she was super neat. Um, uh, Margaret, whose handle is Explorer2127 was there. Super, super fun woman, really enjoyed meeting her. She's a special ed teacher, soft spot for them too. Her daughter is a special ed teacher, just finished uh, teaching school. Her daughter was there. Her daughter <laughs> had a Maryland flag as a cape. It was Maryland day and there was a contest to dress up in Maryland colors. And um, her daughter actually won the, 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 the competition and just really fun. Fun, fun people. You know they're amazing teachers because on the strength of their personality. The, you know, I, I'm a filmmaker and I love a good story. And, and her daughter's um, Margaret's daughter has already has an incredible story. She has not taught a day in her life. She just graduated teaching school. She got hired and immediately got laid off. She got laid off before her first day of work. Now, you know, it's going to work out. She's going to get a job and she's going to be fantastic. But I mean, if that isn't a great like chapter one. Of your book, you know, like setting yourself up for some incredible comeback. You know, I, I just, I just thought that was a pretty neat story. Um, Mr. Turborg uh, was sick, could not make it, but he was there with us uh, and in Twitter. Um, Denise Austin uh, again was tweeting up a storm. Melissa Spaden was tweeting from San Diego. I didn't know she moved, and um, my brother lives in San Diego, and he's so much smarter than me. Love, love San Diego. Um, the whole MSDE team: Angela, Cecilia, Daniel, all gracious hosts. Uh, uh, Senora Rabado was in the social justice. Um, Nicole Gavin, who I'd met at a previous ed camp, was there. Josh Doing from um, Digital Harbor, just a great guy. Always, you know, that, that, that he does the little light up name tag thing. Always a huge hit. Uh, Kathleen Keck was there, who I'd met at a previous ed camp. Casey Keenan was there, who I had met at the last ed camp, Maryland. And I tell you, you know, I, you, you know, these the, these young teachers, like you know, like 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 like, like you know like Casey and like Paige, like I wish, and what are they like three years, three, three to third year teachers, if that, and they are so together. I wish I was that together when I was 25. I mean, I mean, it was just really neat, neat, neat young teachers there. Um, Sasha Taylor Blades was there. She was in the social justice one and just was super insightful. John Harper was there, of course, of BAM radio. He told me he gets 25,000 views per month on his uh, podcast, which I thought was really cool. And, um, Sherry Yesnick was there again. I have a soft. She's a uh, environmental educator uh, from Maryland and was seeking some advice on um, online filmmaking. Great. Let's move on to part three, which is feedback. Um, it's amazing. A plus. I mean, it was incredible at camp. With that team, are you kidding? A plus. The one thing I might consider doing differently next year is um, they had a keynote address. You usually, you don't have keynotes at ed camps. Um, um, but you know, I mean, you couldn't do much better than Dr. Williamson. I mean, she did. She did really did a fantastic job. And the other thing that I was thinking about was, you know, it, there were only 60 people there. And I, of course, I saw everybody, but I didn't, I, I had a, like a meaningful conversation with like less than half of them. So I really didn't meet, like as I'm looking through the Twitter feed, like I, I, I saw them, but I didn't really introduce myself. So, and I was thinking, that's kind of, you know, you know, for a full day ed camp, I, so I was thinking, well, how can we, you know, try to get creative? And, and so uh, ed camp Metro DC is coming up in two weeks. And I'm going to propose to my team, like, what, what can we do about this? I think if we do like a formal icebreaker, I, I think we would want to get punched in the face, right? I've, I've tried icebreakers with veteran teachers before and, and, and you know, it's like hurting cats. They don't always like it, but like something, maybe something super, super fast and super, super, super simple. Like just like, okay, for the next three minutes, introduce yourself to as many people as you don't know, go, you know, just something super low key, super easy. I think people would go for that. And I, I'd certainly like to just, you know, you know, get get that get the mix started. So uh, some some kind of icebreaker uh, I'm gonna propose. Anyway, that's it. Um, uh, that was at Camp Maryland. Just so grateful for 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 being there and grateful for for all the work that went into it. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.